Okay, it's time to have a look at Queen Sisa and the Calamermex colony that I have going. So, some beautiful growth here. Let's have a look at the colony. This video is sponsored by Ant Keeping Depot. Click on the link in the description to check out their website. Well, we're going to have a look at the Calamermex colony of Queen Sisa, and it's a beautiful colony, so we've got quite a few updates to come for you guys on my colonies. So, beautiful colony. Here's a look at the outworld. So it's been a while since I've done an update on this particular colony, and they've been doing really well. There's some good growth happening. We're starting to get up there and workers. In fact, we're probably at around about 30 or 40 workers now, which is great. Now, these are a beautiful species because they have that pulsing action, which you would have seen if you've seen this colony before. You can see one there drinking from the water. The little abdomen pulsing up and down. And there's one on a little bit of an alert. And they do this when they're a little bit agitated, a little bit excited, something different going on. So I'm sure she knows that I'm watching and she's going to twitch along here uh, with me. And that's why I've named the Queen Queen Sisa, which means pulse in Latin. So I've just uh, done a bit of a clean up and a bit of a setup here in the outworld. I've topped up their liquid feeders again. This outworld is probably getting a little bit small for them, so I might give them a nice upgrade. So you can see here they're munching down on some mealworms as well. So I've just uh, killed those mealworms, cut them in half so they can get to their gooey insides and they can access that protein. Protein is essential for your colonies. And here we can see quite a lot of workers busy in the outworld. Now this is an Empire of Ants outworld and I've done a review on that. So click on the link at the um, card above if you like and you can check out that little review of this outworld. Quite a nice outworld and it's nicely set up with these rocks and plants in place. All right, well, let's have a look inside the nest. So here we have them in the acrylic nest and you can see they're occupying the left-hand side of this nest quite a bit. And yeah, we've got plenty of workers. Probably half of the workers are in the outworld at the moment because I've just given them some fresh food. So here's a little bit closer up. We can see that we've got a couple of piles of brood there, which is good to see. Um, there's no heating going on here, it is winter, so it's quite cold, but the colony is doing fine. Um, Queen Sisa, you can see there um, at the top there. Yeah, and she's beautiful. Now we'll have a little bit of a closer look at these guys with the macro lens. What do you think? So here we go. So you can see them, they've got that beautiful jet black sort of colour to them. And they've got a lot of fine hairs all over their body. Um, they've got a little sort of like a beard as well, which is interesting. So you can see the pupae, nice and healthy, nice and big. And these are a really nice uh, species of ant to keep. Now, originally in my videos, I had called this the Calamermex albertsi. Now the jury's out on that, thanks to uh, Nog Ants for letting me know. Um, the albertsi is actually not common, uh, not found here in New South Wales, as far as we're aware. So perhaps we might have another species of Calamermex. So anyway, I'll look into that one a bit further and see if we can confirm that. If you guys know, let me know in the comments below as well. Um, either way, it is a Calamermex species and they are a very nice species to keep. So the little pile of larvae here, this is sort of the fresh larvae, they've just hatched out of their eggs and will continue to grow. So we're gonna have a little bit of a population growth as we come into spring and summer. The weather warms up, the brood develops a lot faster. So it's important in these phases just to keep that protein up. Now, before we get back to it, I just want to thank my Patreons, Medical Carcass 9, William Bass and John Redwood, along with my other Patreons. Thank you so much for your support. If you would like to support the channel, head over to Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Novo Ants, and you can uh, choose from the different levels and the different perks that come along with those different levels as well. So thank you very much. So yeah, very happy with this colony. They're doing really well. And I'm excited to see how they go over in uh, spring and summer and the growth. And we'll give them an update on their outworld. And I'll make a video on that as well and show you. I've got a few different ideas there. So I hope you've enjoyed this quick update on the colony. We've got plenty more videos to come. So please subscribe to the channel if you haven't. I really appreciate that. Now, on your screens, you will see a video recommended for you by YouTube and one that I've picked that you might enjoy as well. 
So smash that subscribe button, give it a thumbs up, and we'll see you in the next video. And remember, happy ant keeping.